Hi folks, let's uh, examine a little bit of the role that your current manager can play in helping you develop your career. Well, the first thing that's really important is that your manager is a person who can sit down and give you an honest uh, assessment of how you're performing to date. Because I mentioned before to you guys that the best way to know how an employee is going to perform in the future is to look at how they're performing now. So if your manager has given you an honest assessment of what they think your your performance is like, that's a good place to start because you'll know where you where you excel and where you need to develop, right? Where you're a little bit weaker. A lot of times managers, in order to help you develop um, uh, in certain areas, they might give you developmental assignments. So say, for example, you really want to get more into um, business analysis and analyzing data. You might They might turn around and say, well, you know what, you're starting to develop in that way, but you need to have more work of that kind if you want to get better. So they might give you an assignment where you have to do something more related to that, right? They might, ask, they might uh, recommend that you might take some courses that they might be prepared to pay for, and you're, you're manager might follow up with you to see how it's going, whether it's in a developmental assignment or in a course that you're taking. Um, and your manager really should be your coach, the one who appraises your performance, who advises what your next step in the organization might be, or maybe they may have contacts outside or within the company. So say, for example, you're in sales and you decide, you know, I really like marketing uh, as a profession and everything else. I like the area. I'm doing sales now, but I'd really like to get more into advertising, but I really don't know. Um, we farm out our advertising and I really don't have any contacts in our advertising, with our advertising company, um, our consulting firm that does our advertising. So your manager might say, well, you know what, if that's the route that you want to go, then I can put you in contact with some of our advertising people because I meet with them on an ongoing basis to discuss our sales campaigns and you know what we might do to, to better market or advertise our products. So maybe our boss might want to set you up and help and, and introduce you to people outside of the company so that you can actually get some information about what a career in advertising would be like if that's where your career interests are taking you. So that's good stuff too. They can actually refer you. Um, what about your employer? Your employer as a whole, so we're talking about the company. Well, they should have a program whereby they have training and development opportunities for you. So if you want to get more into, say, um, sales, you know, um, maybe you just came in as a marketing assistant, you want to get into sales, they should have sales training for you, they should have uh, maybe conferences that they would be prepared to put you on, and again, they might also subsidize any training that you want to do. So if you want to go back to school and you want to uh, uh, take courses in selling and building customer relationships, those kinds of things. Oftentimes colleges, like even Mohawk College, we have certificates and, and programs in our night school courses that you can come back and take. You can even take them online through the college. So a lot of times there's those opportunities as well. They can give you as well um, uh, other career information and information on other programs. So say for example, there's certain um, 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 maybe testing that they do. So if you express an interest maybe getting involved in HR, but you don't know if you have the aptitude for that, well, they may turn around and say, well, we can, uh, you know, uh, help you do an assessment or give you some kind of a personality or an assessment to see whether or not that's where you should really go, because that might be a whole 180 degree turn from where you currently are. So they can maybe coach you or, or have access to companies that might do career assessments for you. And they should also have an idea of your uh, skills and abilities and have options for people. Uh, like there's always promotions that come up uh, in an organization. Uh, and so if you feel that you have the skills and the aptitudes and the interest, you should be able to take advantage of them. So employers are always changing jobs a lot um, so that they will appeal to a lot of employees. Now, jobs just don't change because they want to appeal to employees. There has to be a business reason. But sometimes when a job changes, that can actually bring out uh, an aspect of what you're capable of doing that people never even knew you had before, but you have an interest. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit more about the role that an employer can have uh, in helping you uh, develop some of those uh, skills that you might have um, that you want to develop more of. So we'll talk about that in a minute.